Good morning, dear students. You have already completed your uh, PT1 uh, test and this video is about analyzing the economics questions that have uh, come in your uh, test. So let us begin. The first question of economics was question number 28. UNDP compares countries based on a educational level of the people, b health status of people, c per capita income and d all the above. You have already studied that UNDP uses three criteria to compare the countries that is educational level, health status and per capita income. So answer for this question will be d all the above. The next question is per capita income refers to a total income b average income c national income and d none of these so the answer for this question is b average income and it will not be national income or total income because national income is sum total of all the income which is also known as total income. So these two options are uh, not uh, correct. And since option B is correct, so none of these is not important. That is not the correct option. So the next question is question number 30. The developmental goal of a girl from a rich urban family can be A. To get freedom B. To get better wages, C. Higher price for crops and D. To set up a system of irrigation. So, the answer for this question is the first one. To get freedom because girls uh, really struggle to get freedom. So, this is the most appropriate option. On the other hand, uh, option B is more relevant for a laborer a laborer would like to have better wages c and d are very important or rather it can be a developmental goal for a farmer but not for a girl from a rich urban family the next question is question number 31 Infants are the children aged A, 1 to 5 years, B, 12 to 15 years, C, 0 to 1 year and D, 10 to 12 year. So the answer is C, 0 to 1 year. Infants are all those children who are aged between 0 to 1 year. The next question is what are public facilities? There are four options. A. The services provided by private organizations. B. Services provided by the government to its citizens. C. Services provided by NGOs. And D. None of the above. So, you have already studied that public facilities are, are all those facilities that are provided by the government to its citizens. So, the correct option is option B. Question number 33. The full form of BMI is A. Body Mass Income B. Body Mass Index C. Body Machine Index D. Balance Mass Index So, the correct answer is B. Body Mass Index that is the full form of BMI. The headquarter of UNDP is in A. New York, B. Washington, D.C., C. Geneva, D. Paris. So the answer for this question is A. New York. Question number 38 is which state among the following has the lowest Literacy rate A. Punjab B. Bihar C. Kerala or D. Tamil Nadu 
so the lowest literacy rate uh, is in punjab question number 39 life expectancy means a average expected length of life of a person at the time of birth b average expected length of life of a person at the time of death c average expected length of a child at the time of birth and d none of the above so you already know that life expectancy is calculated at the time of birth so the correct answer is a average expected length of life of a person at the time of birth the last mcq is question number 40 ground water is a renewable resource b non renewable resource c replenished by nature d both a and c so we already know that ground water is a renewable resource but option a is not the correct one because option c is also correct it is replenished by nature replenish means replace so nature provides uh, water in the form of rain which seeps into the ground and it gets collected and then ground water is formed so option d is the correct one that is both a and c now section b had one question of economics the question number was uh, 43 the question was mention any three characteristics of development so in this uh, uh, answer you were supposed to write the characteristics or the features of development the answer for this question could be different people have different developmental goals second point could be what may be development for one may not be development for another and third point can be income is the most important component for development but along with income people seek for things like equal treatment good health etc so i have given you uh, three points because it is a three mark question you were expected to write uh, three points but that need not be uh, the same as what i have uh, mentioned just now any other relevant point will also be accepted so that is it for today's class thank you